So this woman, Kiara Bridges, law professor mm. at Berkeley, goes before the U.S. Senate. And this is this person's background. All right. She's, uh, as I mentioned, law professor at Berkeley, specializes allegedly in constitutional law, critical legal theory, which is related to critical race theory, racial and social justice. She's written books like Reproducing Race and Ethnography of Pregnancy as a Site of Racialization. Oh, it's perfect, right? Um, the Poverty of Privacy Rights, Critical Race Theory of Primer or primer, if you like, uh, and she's co-editor of a reproductive justice book series, blah, 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 blah. Um, she's got this high pedigree, valedictorian from Spelman College, uh, JD from Columbia Law School, PhD in anthropology from Columbia. And so she goes before the Senate to talk about women's reproductive rights, but she will not say women. She will not go anywhere near women. And she gets offended when others try to. So Senator Josh Hawley, Republican from Missouri, tries to challenge her on the weird language she's using. And here's the clip that has now gone completely viral. Now, Professor Bridges, you said several times, you've used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important because of my line of questioning because so we can't talk about it because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist. I'm denying dangerous. that trans people exist by asking are you? you if you're talking are you? about women are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that the, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think. <laughs> so you pregnant. are denying that trans people exist. Thank and that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you Absolutely. or are they also treated like this? Where no, you, no, no, they're, they're told that to they're at, opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow. I, I would learn a lot. I've learned a you, lot. Just I know. In this exchange. Absolutely. Extraordinary. Yep. Oh, it's all there. Her, her seething condescension. You are there to answer to us. He works for us. Senate hearings are for us, the citizenry. And you do not get to redefine the questions and answer your own questions to yourself. Out of respect for the American people, you answer the questions that are asked. You don't restate the questions in the terms you want uh, and then get snide with the questioners because you want to go viral. The other thing uh, is um, about that clip that jumps out at me is how she she can't do it, Constantine, the way that you were just talking about how the, the, these people who are so focused on identity, they're not actually looking to win arguments or persuade you on the substance of their argument. They're looking to shame you into silence. They want you to shut the hell up and just accept their worldview. And you saw at the moment that really you know, sort of in indicates it's so indicative of how the left, the woke left speaks today is she starts to lose and she says, your rhetoric is transphobic, right? She's got to do the name calling. She's got to shut them up by saying you're transphobic. Your language is transphobic. Um, you're opening up trans people to violence by saying that women are the only ones who can get pregnant. That's that was his offense. And then dropped the old trope about how one out of five transphobic or sorry, trans people um, have attempted suicide. This is what the trans activists always do. People are going to commit suicide unless you accept our worldview that men can get pregnant. <laughs> and this, and what Ben was saying was, number one, there's a very high, unusually high rate of suicide within the LGBTQ community. That's true. Um, whether they're trans or not, whether they transition or not, there just is. And number two, even if you accept that rhetoric somehow is the tipping point for some trans people when it comes to suicidal ideation, it's not the responsibility of society to engage in the same delusion that they have about their gender and their abilities when it comes to having babies, if they're men, to prevent that. 
I mean, with all due empathy to the situation they're in, we don't have to pretend we believe the same thing they believe, that despite the fact that they're a man, they can have a baby in order to protect them from suicidal ideations. Like, but this is, this tool works. This woman's probably never had anybody challenge her like that in her life. So she just goes to her usual trick of calling names. And it really puts the lie, the, the, the baselessness to her whole critical race theory life. What do you make of it? Well, Megan, I don't disagree with the word you've said there, but I invite you and our listeners and viewers to take a step back for a moment and realize that your Congress is having a hearing in which you're debating secondary elementary, perhaps school biology. And you and I are sitting here. You're one of the most respected journalists in America. And we're having to discuss an issue on which we all know the truth. Uh, this is a pretend game that these people are playing. They're not you mentioned respect for the American people. I don't think they do have respect for American people. I think they clearly think that most American people are bigots and are beneath contempt. Uh, so that's why she's not answering the question. And she also not answering the question because she knows on the argument, as you say, she's not going to win, which is why, you know, this concept that words of violence was so dangerous. And, you know, in my former career as a stand-up comedian, I fought so hard against this because anyone with half a brain can see that once you set it up, that words are violence, well, that's the method by which you, A, allow words to be shut down, and B, by the way, and this is quite important, and I hope to God this doesn't, it doesn't come to this, uh, but it did somewhat in the summer of 2020. If words are violence, then if you're saying something I don't like, I am entitled to, quote, unquote, defend myself. I'm entitled to use violence against you. I'm entitled to burn down the city. I'm entitled to portion off a part of an American city and create an independent area which is policed by people with guns. I can do all sorts of things once we decide that words are violence. And we have to find a way to row back from this, whether you're left or right, because I think we should all be deeply troubled by the way that we're having these conversations. Me too. Me too. And and just the notion, you know, again, uh, everyone's everyone's going to commit suicide. A high proportion of this community is going to commit suicide unless we go along with what they think about gender. Well, we don't have to do that, but we don't have to submit to those threats. And secondly, but he, you're denying the, their existence. She kept saying that you're denying their existence and that's dangerous. Denying that a biological man can get pregnant is not denying the existence of trans people. <laughs> it's denying that if you are born a man and then you decide to transition to female, um, certain biological realities will remain with you. And one of them mm. is you cannot get pregnant. And if you are born a woman and decide to transition to male, you are still a woman. Yes, you can get pregnant. But the reason you can do that is because you're a biological woman. There's only one way you can have a baby. And that is if you are a biological woman. So it's like they, they try to parlay your adherence to biology and to biological realities into bigotry and a denial of the trans community's existence. And I think that Megan, by the is really way, sorry important. to interrupt. This isn't about the no, trans no. community. Let's be very clear. I employ in, on trigonometry, our YouTube show, at least two people who have gender dysphoria. One, one of them is trans and one of them just has gender dysphoria. They don't want this. This person right. isn't speaking for them. This person isn't making their lives better. They're not the sort of people that want, you know, as we have here in London, the tube to stop saying ladies and gentlemen. Most trans people are quite sensible people who just want to live their lives and be left alone to live their lives in peace without violence and without being confronted by hateful bigots in the street who unfortunately do still exist, right? But they don't need this professor to be making stuff up or to be calling someone trans transphobic for asking simple questions. This is not helping trans people, just like no. many of the conversations we have about race don't help black people or other ethnic minorities, like the conversations we have sometimes about women's rights don't help women, and on and on and on it goes. This isn't about the community. This is about a few activists who've realized that there's a lot of money and a lot of clicks to be found in talking about this in this ridiculous way. And, yeah. and that is, excuse me, the only reason these people are doing it because it benefits them. And I, I say this, as you know, I talk about this in the book. Think about how many of these activists talk about how evil and terrible the West is. Have you noticed, Megan, none of them ever leave? None of them ever go to the country mm -hmm. which they came from or to which their, the country from which their parents brought them into the West from? They never leave. Why is that? Is it maybe because this is just a way to get famous and to get some money? 
gathering around the dinner table has been the catalyst for change since the beginning of time. Ronald Reagan once said, all great change in America starts at the dinner table. If we can return to eating meals together as a family, which is so important to do, then we can create the conversation and change we want to see. Maybe it feels overwhelming to get everybody together, so many different schedules and so on, and then still make a great meal. But Good Ranchers makes it easy. You pull out a Good Ranchers package of beef, chicken, or seafood. You season with a little salt and pepper. Good to go. Cook it however you like. Off to the races. Tastes amazing. Every box you get is superior quality, flavor, and value. And Good Ranchers is a company that supports American agriculture and business. You're already buying meat. Why not support an American company like Good Ranchers? Use my code MEGAN to get $30 off your order too, plus free shipping, free express shipping. You can have it soon. Start eating their beef and their chicken and their seafood. And by the way, if you don't want to do this pepper and salt, they'll pre-season it for you. You can get the pre-marinated version, which is what I like. Make the gatherings at the table easy and fun with Good Ranchers. Go to GoodRanchers.com slash Megan to bring your family and friends to the table and eat some seriously delicious food when you're there. GoodRanchers.com slash Megan. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.